Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Holidays, Happy whatever it is, your God, your thing that you're looking up to the sky and going, yeah, you're fabulous. Whatever it is, Happy Christmas. Don't be offended by that. I know people do, but you know, get over it. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro games that you should, you should, you must be playing over Christmas. Christmas is a great time for us to sort of get down and dirty with some video games. It's one of the only times of year that we actually get time to do that because as adults, we tend to sort of have things like life to get on with. Kids, family, parents, holidays, work, housework, stuff outside, car stuff, just stuff that takes us away from games. So Christmas is kind of the only time where we can sit down as adults, drink tons of gin, eat a load of mince pies and play games like Resident Evil 7. It is seven, isn't it? Yes, seven. Couldn't remember which number it was. Biohazard. Now, the reason I've chosen this for the PlayStation Pro is because not only because it's a great game and it's been out a while and you can pick it up pretty cheap, but it's such a scary game. And I played it through earlier this year. Um, in fact, it's been out most of this year. I played it through most of this year. Um, I played it through early this year and I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. And then uh, I got a PlayStation VR uh, later this year and I bought it again we need to go. Um, because originally I, <laughs> I gave it away and then I thought, oh no, why did I do that? So I bought it again for like £17 from Amazon and just so I could play it again in VR. And now this is the thing, if you have a VR, play PSVR, get this. Um, I've got an Oculus and I've had a Vive before and this is by far the best VR game out there. On, on regardless of, of which platform it is that you're playing on, I think this is the best VR game. And I think if I, rem if I get this right, I think it got like an award or something for being the best VR game. Who knows, can't remember. But anyway, what, what makes it great as a VR game is not only is it bloody terrifying, I mean super scary, um, but graphically it, it holds up. Um, you know, there's some caveats, you know, some of the, the, the textures are not perfect and so on, but overall you overlook that predominantly. It still looks pretty good in VR. Um, but what makes it so compelling in VR? Because it's a horror game, and because you're kind of not running around too much. You know, you can, but if you take it, in, if you go in VR and play it in VR, what makes it great is where you're in sort of the main house and you're sort of creeping along and you can hear um, one of the scary family just not so far away. And you know they're there, you know they're somewhere around. And what you can do is you can go up to a wall and you just couldn't do this with a controller properly, get a real feeling of immersion, is where you sort of just want to peek around a corner and you just... No, 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 no. <laughs> you just can't do that with a controller, but in VR you can, you can just sort of sneak an eye and it'll have to be, in my case, a good eye, so it'll have to be this one. So I'll have to put sort of creep out and look round a corner. Superb, and it adds so much depth and clarity and feel to the game that you just couldn't get were it not in VR. There's a couple of things that annoy me. The control schemes are slightly off. I don't like the jerky sort of turning thing, but you can sort of control it mostly with your head, but you do have to sort of adjust the, 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 the orientation a little bit sometimes. But aside from that, uh, it's, it's, and you have to have it on easy. I, maybe that says more about me than the 
the lore of the game. But you do have to have it on easy. So Resident Evil. Um, the next one, which I don't have the case for because um, I'm an idiot, and <laughs> uh, it's Horizon Zero Dawn. Not just the game, because I'm sure a lot of you that have the PS Pro and the PlayStation have this game already. But it's the DLC. And uh, uh, Knobhead here decided um, that uh, I didn't realize at the time that I, I thought that they were sort of international, so it didn't matter if you bought the game in the US where I was at the time. I was living in, in Nashville and I bought the game, played it whilst I was, I was there and then I came back to the UK and I just assumed that the DLC would work. Um, so I bought the DLC and it didn't work. And uh, so I, I finished the game and uh, went to go and try the DLC and it was like, you don't own this game. It's like, yes I do, look, it's here, there's a disc. And it's like, no, 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 you don't own this game. And I go, yes I do, look, here's the disc. And then it dawned on me. It's like, oh, knobhead horizon dawning moment. Of course, because I bought the game in the US and it wouldn't work on DLC in the UK. I loved the game so much that um, I sold the the, the Horizon Zero Dawn here. game um, with, to someone that would know that it was the US version that could use the dude. DLC. And then I bought the proper version. And I bought the proper version from PlayStation because I was so hungry to play the DLC. Like no other. Ah, yeah, just great. Um, if you've not played Horizon Zero Dawn, you must, must, must play that. Um, it's, it's again, I've, I've, this year has been one of those years where I've completed quite a lot of games. It's a first for me in lots of ways. But it's one of the few times where I've been so hungry for DLC and um, the uh, Frozen Wilds, I think it's called. Uh, is great, and I'm, I've still not wanted. I still not wanted. I've still not touched it fully. Um, but it's such a great game, and I wanted to take myself away from it and then get back into it at a later stage and play the DLC. From from what I've seen of, of just you know trying the DLC a bit. It's, it is really good. It seems as though they've sort of upped things graphically even further. I don't know whether that's just me, but it just kind of feels that way. But if you don't own Horizon Zero Dawn, what is wrong with you? Really, what is wrong with you? If you go to PS Pro or PlayStation, get it. Um, if you own Horizon Zero Dawn, get the DLC. It looks fabulous. It's a great long story. I think it's another 10 hours, I think. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to getting my teeth into that. Finally, we've got um, GT Sport. Again, um, thanks to a, to a screw up, thanks to Amazon, um, I was meant to be getting the sort of day one release and it never happened. And I was so hungry for the game because I'm such a massive GT fan that um, I, I paid a silly sum of money from, to buy it from PlayStation directly. It, uh, I know. I know, but I, I had, you know, I just wanted the game and I got it. And it's a great game, but, but, um, there's a huge but, big fat one. Uh, it sucks in, in some ways and it's something they're looking to sort out this month in December, which is why I'm recommending it. It's a great game graphically. On the PS Pro, it looks amazing, um, but, <laughs> They've taken away one of the key aspects, which has become a bit of a GT sort of gate thing about them removing the sort of career mode. And that I, what the hell were they thinking? Uh, because I thought I could get along with the online mode and all that. And it's kind of great, you know, the online thing is all right. I don't mind it, it works. Um, but what doesn't work is that you, you kind of still, even in some of the later, when I, I've got like a, a, a safety rating of B and a driver rating of C, I think. Um, 
And even then you still get people that just act like dicks. And you get rammed up the arse, so to speak, and you're then having to, you know, pay that price because a dickhead behind you doesn't know how to break or is just being a dickhead and, and wanting to slam into everyone. So, you know, that, that kind of really put me off GT um, and really frustrated me. Um, just, you know, I, I do find games kind of frustrating in a lot of ways and we all suffer from a little bit of a gaming rage or gamer rage. But GT is one of the only ones this year where I've really got, you know, you thing. Really, because I know it's some knob behind me acting like a dick trying to... What the fuck, man? So, um... So I'm, why I'm recommending it is not because of that, because it's frustrating, but when it works, when people are driving like people, like they would, if they actually bought that car and they were like, shit, I don't want to crash this, cost me a fortune, um, then it's a great game. The other thing, the other reason I'm recommending it is sometime this month, I can't remember the exact date or whether they've actually said they, what date they're releasing it, but GT have announced that they're doing an update where they're bringing some kind of career mode back, uh, which is great. Christ knows why they couldn't bring that in the original release. Um, as to what it will be exactly, it remains to be seen. It's not, I've got a feeling, not going to be a, like a full-blown career mode. But anything to take me away from the idiots that keep ramming me and acting like dicks, where I can drive and have like a proper, take a car, tune it, move forward, complete, you know, events and races, like a normal racing game. So yeah, so those are my recommendations. If you have a place, 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 play, 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 PSVR, get Resident Evil. Great game. Uh, if you don't own Horizon Zero Dawn, what is wrong with you? If you do own it, get the DLC. Um, get GT Sport when there's the update. It'll be interesting. Maybe even wait till that update. Um, and I know I said it would be three games, but if you've not got Assassin's Creed, you must buy Assassin's Creed Origins. <sighs> okay, have a lovely time. Have a great, great, festive, happy, slightly drunk, slightly getting fat, full of gin and mince pies and beer and movies and games. Have a wonderful time. Have a great day. Enjoy your gaming, enjoy your families, enjoy your time, and I'll see you in the new year. Merry Christmas, and have a wonderful new year. Thanks guys, thanks for taking the time to watch my videos and supporting me throughout the year. Looking forward to 2018. Take care, bye bye.